Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be building the presidential Loki from the Loki trailer. So, the box you're going to need will start off with concrete. You're going to need black concrete. You need green concrete. You need yellow. White. And then, you're going to need black wool. We're also going to need buttons. It's going to use the black stone button. You also use a stone button. It doesn't really matter if you're in survival. Don't think you have to go get black stone or something. Uh, we're also going to need these birch signs. And then we're going to need for terracotta white, green lime and yellow also gonna need light blue and then that should be about it so to get started we're gonna do two rows of black concrete like that and then for the rest of the legs we're just gonna fill them with the wool so it's ten rows Alright, so in total this should be 12 blocks tall. Uh, the wool is 10 rows. So then next, we're going to do his kind of under shirt. It's just one row of black concrete and then two blocks of black concrete in the middle. They're going to take the lime terracotta and do... We're gonna, well, first we're going to fill in this row, like that, then we're going to do six rows on top of this, and then on the top one, I'm going to knock out these two blocks, I'm going to take the buttons and place them evenly up and down, like that. And then for the tie, we're going to take the green terracotta, and we're just going to do like a checkerboard pattern. Let's start on this side, like that. And then you want to go until it's 12 blocks tall total, so this is 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That checks out. So we're gonna take the white concrete, fill in this column, and then this column. Gonna go over to the right one and then to the left one. And the rest we're gonna fill in with black concrete. And then to make it look like he's wearing a coat, I am going to start here, yeah, and just make a row going up. And then make another row, like that. I'm just going to do the same thing on this side. So that is what it's looking like. That's the front of it. And now I'm just going to fill in his shoes with the black concrete. And then fill the rest of his legs in with the wool. I was looking at his jacket. Um, whenever I was trying to make the statue. And it, it was like really dark green. 
if you turn up the brightness a little bit, it was like a really dark green. But I don't really think there's a block in Minecraft that would, you know, look that dark green without actually just looking green. So I just decided to make it black because that works. It's basically the closest color, is what I'm trying to say. Alright, so those are the legs. Now for the hands, I'm going to take the white terracotta. Come out four from here. Make a square. Right? And then we're going to raise it up. Another row, like that. Same thing on the other side. that and then we're just gonna take the black concrete and complete his jacket so I'm just gonna go to the top and meet the top of his suit and just fill this all in with black concrete All this stuff is pretty simple. The only kind of complicated part is the hair and the helmet. So, all this is pretty much just black concrete. For the sides of the jacket, I'm kind of gonna make it go down one, and just drag it across. So down this side, it's gonna be like that. And then I'm just gonna fill this in after I fill this arm in. There we go. So, next I'm just gonna fill in this back part of the jacket. You could do it 2D and just replace this part of the legs with the black concrete, but I like making my stuff kind of 3D. And then also on the front, I'm going to take the birch signs and just do that. He's got kind of like a golden clip on his tie, so that's the closest thing to that. And then I'm also going to get some snow and make his little flower thing that he's got on this arm. So there's one here, 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 and there. Take the green, do like that. I take the terracotta, do like that. It looks too similar. So I'm just gonna use the lime. Yeah, that looks good. So now I'm gonna take the buttons, do two buttons right there. And that looks pretty good. And he's also got his presidential like pin thing. Oh, I also needed red. Blue, white. And red. So I'm going to delete these six blocks right here. I'm going to do three. Should I use this enough? No, I'm just going to use the white. And then red. I'm going to do three buttons in the middle. So that's what the front of it's looking like. That's pretty much all there is. For his head, I'm going to use these blocks. I'm also going to need these now. So, I'm going 
gonna come out two from the head. So one, two. And then drag it over eight. Till the meat's up, just with the torso and everything. Take the snow, do the teeth. You could do it wider like that. I don't know. And you don't even have to do the teeth. You could just leave it with white terracotta. Or we could use light gray terracotta and show like his mouth. Make the eyes, the eyebrows. And then the rest of this we're going to fill in with white concrete or white terracotta. Like that. And then to start on his helmet, I'm going to take the yellow concrete. I'm going to come out one from the head. I'm going to do a row. Like that. Place the middle with yellow terracotta. Take out the yellow again. Two blocks right there. Two blocks in the middle. I'm going to come out one from the head like that. Two here. Same on this side. So you should have something like that. I take the yellow concrete, come up one like this. I'm gonna go back and up one, and then two. So like that, and then same thing on this side. So you should have something like that so far. For the left side of the helmet, I'm going to fill this in with the yellow, like that. I'm going to take the yellow concrete, come out one, and then to the left one, down two more, and then diagonal two, like that. And then the same thing on this side, so I'm going to come out. That to the right, down two, and then diagonal. And that's basically the helmet. I think there's also two blocks right here. We're gonna get to the hair and everything, so. So now starting on the hair, do one row of black concrete right here. And this will kind of be part of his hair, so I'm just gonna bring this up. So, to show you, filled in this, and then two rows, and then now I'm gonna do kind of like it's tapering off, and then I'm gonna bring the one underneath it back like that. So, to show you again, it's this row filled in. And then one, and then two, and then we start tapering in. You got one block missing there, one block missing there, and then three, so it kind of makes like a L shape. Anyways, coming down here, I'm going to come back one from this, if you made it 3D. It's two back from the shoulders, but one back from his coat. I've mistakenly um, messed that up before. For his ears, um, I'm just going to do kind of smaller ears like that. It's because his hair is kind of covering them up. And I'm going to fill it in with black concrete. I'm going to come back later and... Oh, I'm going to come back later and make the hair around his ears. So 
I'm just filling all this in with the black concrete. And I don't believe this was actually shown in the show yet. It was just in the trailer. But I figured I'd make it anyway. So I'm going to knock out these two. And then for the hair, I'm going to go around and down. Kind of like that. Yeah. So a square. And then down three. Diagonal. It's like that. Alright, now I just want to make sure I got everything. I think I did. But could also make the hair come down a little bit more on the back. I think I'm going to do one row like right there. I know all this is black so it's kind of hard to see. But again, I could not find like a green color that was close enough. That wasn't actually black or green. It's just a really dark green. I couldn't find one. Could have used like Yeah, I don't know. Not really see anything. Could you use like a brown, maybe? I don't know. If you can find a color that's really dark green, you can use that. But anyways, that's basically the presidential Loki statue. If you haven't seen my Loki holding the test rack, I think it's one of the best statues I've made in a while. Speaking of best statues I've made in a while, I do have a... Hulkbuster statue coming up. That one is mm, top tier. I think it's on par with the Ultron I made. It's like really freaking 3D. So anyways, it's kind of, I think it's better than that. So stay tuned for that. If you made it to the end of the video, there's your, there's your secret. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.